Hi friends, Thursday the 24th of June, glad to be with you. I'm sitting in uh, a new place today. I, I didn't even know this place existed, I kind of just happened upon it. And uh, when I say happened upon it, I, I really mean God led me here. <laughs> what, a, what a beautiful place it is. I'm uh, at Hood Park and the Snake River is that way. And so is the park. And I'm in a little kind of, I don't know, uh, like lowlands area that uh, really looks like kind of a great duck habitat, marshy and kind of waterfowl-y. And uh, it's really beautiful. I kind of walked out here and, and then they have these little covers with uh, picnic tables and benches and it's really cool too because uh, right here above me, I have a mama bird who's feeding a, a baby bird. The baby bird looks uh, pretty grown. I would guess that it won't be long until baby bird is booted out of the nest and set to flight. Uh, I've also seen fish here and uh, at just at the conclusion of uh, yesterday's devotion, oh by the way, uh, you know I do these all at the same time, like a, a week at a time too, don't you? <laughs> Hence the same shirt. But I saw, it, it looked like, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't even know what kind of creature it is. Maybe a, like a, a freshwater otter or something like that. It's, you know, sleek and low to the ground. And, uh, so I think that's what it was. It kind of just ran across the path. I haven't seen it out in the water yet, but I'm kind of hoping I do anyway. What a beautiful place to just be here today and sit in the presence of the Lord. And I know, because I've heard from many of you, that you get much value out of our time together. And, uh, you know, I, I get a lot of value out of just sitting in God's creation, uh, sitting with some of these prayers and scripture and uh, talking to you about them. But, you know, I'm talking as well to the Lord about what he wants me to say and, and, uh, and how I might interpret and help you apply the text. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you have an opportunity to get out here to Hood Park and before you kind of enter into the park, there's a little small parking lot and an uh, outhouse. I parked there and I walked out here and it's just, it's beautiful. So uh, I see uh, wood duck boxes and all the rest. So it's a nice little habitat. Anyway, today we're going to be in Job chapter 40 and verses uh, 3, 4, and 5. And the prayer I want to talk about today is the prayer of silence. Well, let me read the text and then I'll, I'll keep going. I, I, I get ahead of myself sometimes. So, Job and the Lord are sitting together and they're communing and communicating. That's prayer. And Job replies to God by saying, I am unworthy, verse 4. How can I reply to you? And the reply comes after the Lord is the reply comes after the Lord has said, Will the one who contends with the Almighty correct him? Let him who accuses God answer him. Well, this is God talking to Job and about Job. Like, basically, Job, who are you to question me, to contend with the Almighty? Well, Job comes to this place of confession, of, of I think it's true humility. I like to define humility as knowing God is God and I am not. That's a simple definition of humility for me. And I think it's appropriate. I think this is what um, Job is coming to, is humbling himself now in chapter 40 before the Lord. I am unworthy, verse 4 says Job. How can I reply to you? I Meaning I, I don't have any answer. I don't have anything for you, God. You're right. Here I stand, convicted. And then in the end of verse 4 here, um, Job says, I put my hand over my mouth. And then verse 5, I spoke once, but I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. <laughs> I 
Job's finally learning, I think, that he may not have an answer for the Lord. I think many of us pray with too many words. And I'm one of them. Gosh, uh, I have a lot of words. I mean, heck, I'm a pastor. <laughs> we have a lot to say. And not always is it just to our congregation. Sometimes we even find ourselves preaching to the Lord. But God calls us to also pray silently. In fact, the prayer of silence is one of the most, for me at least, forming, shaping, a deep kinds of prayer that I can enter into with the Lord. And it's hard, those prayers of silence. Why? Namely, because it requires me to be quiet. <laughs> like I said, I have a lot of words. I have a lot to say. But I think we can learn today, this Thursday, from Job, the importance of uh, maybe even finding space and place in prayer to put our hand over our mouths. <laughs> does God ask you to do that? I think sometimes he does. You know, I can imagine myself running to the Lord and saying, God, God, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And then I just give this litany, this diatribe, this dissertation of how the sky is falling. And, and I can imagine the Lord just saying to me, Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> take a breath. Take a pause. Take a breather. Put your hand over your mouth. <laughs> and just listen. Not necessarily even with the intent of hearing. Yes, I, I do believe God speaks in silence, but my point is sometimes silence itself is enough. Sometimes just being still is enough. That's what the psalmist says in uh, Psalm 46.10, uh, be still and know that I am God. You know, I, I have that little plaque, I've told you before, right in front of my computer. Now, uh, do I pay attention to it? Mm, usually not. <laughs> but there are days that I see that plaque and I think to myself, time to be quiet, time to be still. So I put my hand over my mouth. I put my hand over my mind or my brain, my hand over my heart. Be quiet, heart, be quiet, mind, be quiet, mouth to pray the prayer of silence, to pray the prayer of silence. Would you find time today, or if not today, tomorrow or on the weekend, it's close, to just be still before the Lord, to be silent, to be quiet? Not necessarily the prayer of listening or hearing necessarily. God may speak in those times. But God may say nothing. And that is also a gift of the prayer of silence. Love to hear from you, friends, how that went and, and what God taught you and what you learned. Let us pray for the day. God, we give you this day. Help us to find some place to be silent in it and to pray the prayer of silence. We trust you, God. We love you. We thank you for the gift of prayer. Build us, teach us that our lives would truly develop, that we would be called women and men of prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, friends. Miss seeing you. Remember, we have three services on Sunday. Uh, would love to see you and uh, see you get back in the habit of of being with God's people. Until then, have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.